Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arun and in today's video we will discuss the three most important SAP technical certifications that will get you hired. Before we start, please remember that just doing these certifications will not guarantee a job but it will increase your chance of getting one. SAP courses are very detailed as well so doing these courses will also help you learn the concepts of SAP technical administration thoroughly. Now let's get started. The three certificates that I want to recommend are SAP Certified Technology Consultant, SAP S4 HANA System Administration, SAP Certified Technology Associate, SAP HANA 2.0 Support Pack Stack 6, and the last one is SAP Certified Technology Specialist, SAP S4 HANA Conversion and SAP System Upgrade. All these certifications are offered by SAP's official training and certification website. I have provided the link to this website in the video description below. On that website, SAP offers two things, courses and certifications. You can either only do the courses without certification or if you are already familiar with the concepts, you can directly go for the certification without doing the courses or you can do both. Some courses are one-to-one -one mapped with the certification at the same time, some courses are mapped as many to one with a certification. This means the questions for that certification will cover topics from multiple courses. There is separate fees for courses and certifications. Let's take a look at the certifications one by one. The first one is SAP Certified Technology Consultant, SAP S4 HANA System Administration. During the recording, this certificate will cost you 534 US dollars for six attempts and 214 US dollars for a single attempt. There is a 12 month validity available for the six attempt option. You can schedule up to six different certifications and take each exam up to a maximum of three times in case you fail the exams. The single attempt option is also valid for 12 months. You can take only one certification exam during that time with only one attempt whether you pass or fail. This certification basically validates that the candidate can execute key technical administration and configuration tasks for SAP S4 HANA including the HANA database. The questions for the exam come from the following topic areas. The first one is database administration SAP HANA. This section contains questions about the architecture of an SAP system that uses SAP HANA as a database, SAP HANA database installation and monitoring, and the use of SAP HANA cockpit. These topics are covered as part of the HA200 course, which is about installation and administration of SAP HANA database. That course costs about 4,335 US dollars. The second topic area is installing and updating SAP systems. There will be questions about the installation procedure of s hana and Solution Manager, post-installation activities and required activities to update s hana and Solution Manager systems. These topics are covered as part of the ADM 110 course, which is about installing and updating s hana and SAP Business Suite systems. The ADM 110 course costs about 3468 US dollars. The next topic we are going to talk about is describing and using transport management. This section contains questions about the SAP change and transport management. It is actually covered by the course ADM 325, which is about software logistics for SAP S4 HANA and SAP Business Suite. The ADM 325 course costs about 4,335 US dollars. The next one is system administration. This section contains questions about SAP system administration such as configuring batch jobs, RFC setup, printer setup, maintaining user master data, and user authorization concepts. These topics are all covered as part of three different courses. They are ADM 100 which is system administration of SAP S4 HANA and SAP Business Suite part 1 that costs about 4,335 US dollars. The second course is ADM 103 which is part two of system administration of SAP S4 HANA and SAP Business Suite, which costs about 3,468 US dollars. And the third course is ADM 800, which is and the third course is ADM 800, which is system administration of SAP NetWeaver application server Java. 
That course costs about 4,335 US dollars. The next topic is SAP Fiori Fundamentals and Administration. This section contains questions about configuring SAP Fiori for s hana SAP Fiori topics are covered as part of a couple of courses. The first one is UX100, which is SAP Fiori Foundation, that costs about 4,335 US dollars, and UX200, which is SAP Fiori System Administration, and that course costs about 2,600 US dollars. The next topic is SAP System Concepts. Uh, this section contains questions about SAP products, architecture and technologies. If you want to learn about these topics, they are covered as part of SAP Tech, which is Technology Fundamentals of SAP s hana and SAP Business Suite course that costs about 3468 US dollars and it also covers ADM 100 which we previously covered. Alright, this certification's last and final section is Technology Components for HTTP based communication. It contains questions about configuring Internet Communication Manager and installing and configuring SAP Web Dispatcher. And these topics are covered as part of the ADM 103 course which we discussed previously. So these are the sections or topics from which you will receive questions for the SAP Certificate Technology Consultant Certificate exam. We discussed the courses that cover these topics. It will become expensive if you want to do all these courses before taking the exam. But there are other cost efficient ways to prepare for the certification exam, like through YouTube videos. If you take my channel for example, I have created many videos about SAP products that will give you a good basic understanding of SAP technology. There are so many other good YouTube channels from which you can learn about SAP as well. There are books written by some really good SAP authors, blogs and SAP websites such as SAP communities, help.sap.com and open SAP courses are some of the cost efficient way through which you can learn about SAP technology and products. Then once you are confident enough, you can take the certification exam. The next certification we will discuss is SAP Certified Technology Associate SAP HANA 2.0 Support Pack Stack 6. This certification will also cost you 534 US dollars for 6 attempts and 214 US dollars for a single attempt. Let's quickly go through the section of questions it covers. The first one is SAP HANA Database Administration. Covers questions about the HANA administrative tasks using the HANA cockpit. SAP HANA's high availability and disaster recovery covers questions about installing, configuring and monitoring the SAP HANA database in a scale-out or high availability configuration, sizing, installation, upgrading and post-installation of SAP HANA covers questions about determining the size, installing, updating and post-installation tasks of a HANA database. SAP HANA architecture and deployment options Cover questions about HANA database system architecture and deployment options. SAP HANA backup and recovery covers questions about configuring and executing a HANA database's backup and restore. SAP HANA database security covers questions about the HANA database security concepts, users, roles and audit policies. Database migration option for SAP HANA contains questions about performing database migrations from any database to SAP HANA using the database migration option of the SUM tool. Finally, SAP HANA monitoring and troubleshooting contains questions about monitoring, analyzing, troubleshooting and performing a root cause analysis of the SAP HANA database. All these topics are covered as part of four SAP courses. They are HA100, which is about SAP HANA 360 degree introduction, costing about 2,600 US dollars. HA200, SAP HANA installation and administration costing 4,335 US dollars. HA201, SAP HANA high availability and disaster recovery administration costing 2,600 US dollars. And finally, HA215, SAP HANA monitoring and performance tools costing 1,734 US dollars. The third and last certificate is the SAP Certified Technology Specialist, SAP s HANA conversion and SAP system upgrade. Like the other two certificates, this will cost you 534 US dollars for six attempts and 214 US dollars for single attempt. Many organizations are converting from their legacy SAP ECC system to SAP s hana Having the knowledge and certification in this space will boost your chance of getting a job. Let's take a look at the topics from which it contains the questions. 
The first one is SAP Asfahana Conversion Prepare Phase. Contains questions about the necessary tasks during the Asfahana Conversion Prepare Phase. Some Prepare Part contains questions about preparing the software update manager tool. Some Execution Part contains questions about the some execution part including the data migration option part. Manual activities for some has questions about the manual preparation activities and follow on activities that you must perform in the sum tool. Downtime factors influence the downtime and techniques to reduce the downtime. Software update manager monitoring and troubleshooting. Modification adjustment you will get questions about the SPDD and SPAU. And finally, SAP S4 HANA system landscape during conversion that contains questions about the handling of SAP system landscape during S4 HANA conversion and system upgrade. All these topics are covered as part of one single course that is ADM 328, SAP S4 HANA conversion and SAP system upgrade. That course will cost you 4,335 US dollars. These are the three most important SAP certifications you can do as an SAP technical consultant to boost your job opportunities. I have provided the link to these certificates in the video description. Please like and share this video with your friends who might also benefit from this topic. Thank you and I will talk to you in another video.